So we thought it would be a good idea to kind of go through the best and worst food that we had in LA. When we first arrived to California, we went to downtown Santa Monica. And that's where you had seen a list called it's like a website called Eater LA. Right, and we looked up uh, Best Burgers. And it was a place called Hi Ho Burger. So this is the article, Eater Los Angeles, and here you can see Hi Ho Cheeseburger. And everything here is Wagyu grass-fed beef. There's a burger spot here in Miami called Babe's Burger. Every time we ever try a burger now, we always kind of like reference Babe's Burgers and see if it's, is it does it compare. And it didn't, it didn't really compare. <laughs> like it still wasn't as good as Babe's Burgers. No. And at Babe's Burgers, we don't get double. We get just a single. Was that a double that we had there? We had a double at oh, the okay. Hi-Ho. Yeah. We got the Hi-Ho and the Classic? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's basically just Wagyu beef with cheese. And I I put mine without pickles or anything or tomatoes. It's just lettuce. And then yours I has I should have everything pickles, except for ketchup. Except ketchup, yeah. And, and we also added, added the spicy sauce, I think it is. Some spicy onion jam. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you do a little head dance, I know you like it. Trying to compare to Babes. <laughs> Babe's Burgers is the best in Miami. It's really good, but I think Babe's is better. Wow, and this bacon. is double. We don't even do double at Babe's. You know, double bacon burger at Babe's? Yeah, well, if they had bacon, it would make it even better probably, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't special, you know? For being Wagyu and thinking it was gonna taste like extra, it wasn't like juicy overly priced and either. No, the price you know. was fine. But I don't taste the difference between it being Wagyu or like any other beef. But it's good. I've never noticed the difference. So then we were walking around Santa Monica area, yeah. and then we came across by accident a place called Sugarfish, right. which I had, I don't, I didn't know about, but you had heard about it. Yeah, and you were I hear like, about oh it my god, Sugarfish. Yeah. yeah. And somehow now we ended up in Sugarfish by Sushi Nozawa. About to get some sushi? What? If someone's name, first name is Sushi, That's perfect. I'm sure they make good sushi. When we walked inside, we were like, oh, it's just, I wasn't even that hungry. I was like, I mean, maybe right. I'll try like one or two things, but I'm not in the mood for sushi. Um, it's a sushi place, yeah, so I was just kind of like, you know. It was like an hour later. It was like an hour or so after the burger. We were, I was like, I'm, I doubt I'm going to want to eat too much of the sushi, but that's one of the best things we ate in LA, and yeah. that was one of the best sushis we've ever had in, no, in life. No, the best sushi I've, I've ever had. Oh, that best sushi, yeah. actually, yeah. The fish was like, melt in your mouth, which I've never experienced before. Like, I never, I'm not even a big fan of sashimi. I, I'm i only familiar with like oh, sushi first rolls. Time, I mean, not the first time we've ever had it, but... Yeah, we've had it before, but like we never really enjoyed that, it. That's the reason. I, now I get it. Yeah. The sushi you is have supposed to, to taste like that. The fish has to almost like, it, it should melt in your mouth. It should be like almost like just a buttery texture and just kind of like, it's weird because I never understood that before. And I've tried sashimi like in, in like sushi maki and sushi sake right. and places Little like fast that. fast food sushi and, and it's like, you know, I prefer like a, a sushi roll. And the, here they didn't have any sushi rolls. It was no. all sashimi, right. which I was like, I'm not going to like this. But it was amazing. We did trust something me. called Trust Me, yeah. what they had over there, which is $27. And there's you, different tiers. There's different tiers. We did the, the first tier, it was $27, and you get organic edamame, tuna sashimi, albacore sushi, salmon sushi, toro hand roll, yellow tail sushi, sea bass sushi, and crab hand roll. Now, just hearing that, I was just like, uh, most of those things I'm not gonna like. Yeah, but then you hear $27 <laughs> and you're like, oh That's wait. That's a good deal. It brought out two pieces every time. So then, <laughs> right. for $27, we were able to split that whole entire, mm -hmm. trust me, like, I would say a flight of sushi. We had to order one more of the albacore sushi. It's so good. So, what did it say? They're known for this for 30 years? Right, the best sushi. Best sushi for 30 years. So then by the we end, liked we the up. albacore so much right. we ordered it again at the end. But I was surprised also by the hand rolls. We had never really tried that before. And it's just like seaweed wrapped up with rice and fish. And uh, crab. Which, we had a like crab hand roll. It was crab and the other one was toro. Got the crab hand roll. It was strangely good and in my head i was like seaweed like mm. yeah we usually uh when it comes to uh sushi rolls we don't like, we don't the, like the seaweed, seaweed on, the, on outside. the outside yeah we want to see the rice on the outside but in this case this time the seaweed was know. it melted in your mouth yeah, i don't good. know i don't know what they do over there they know what they're doing if you're into sushi 
check out Sugarfish in LA because that's probably not, the best thing we had. It's probably a good place to start. So $27, we split that pretty much. Yeah. But we also ate before, now, so I don't I know wouldn't, if that's, Yeah, if, you know, if we hadn't eaten before, maybe I would want more food. Because right. it is just like one at a time, so I don't but know. But I see there's, there's a $20. Trust me option too, I saw that. Right, there's a $20, there's a $37, and there's, a 52 and there's even a $52. So if that, you just want to eat a lot, the next thing we had was, to me, the other best food we had in LA, which was Crossroads. Yes. Here we are, Crossroads, Los Angeles. Where's Travis Barker at? <laughs> so Crossroads is definitely like one of those places that we did plan to go to, and that's a vegan place. and. Obviously, you know, we're not vegan, we ate sushi the night before, so, and burgers, but we've actually had never tried the Impossible Burger before. No. And this was the first time we tried it. And you know what? I know the Impossible Burger is good because everybody makes a big deal about it, but right. I think that the way they did it was even better. With the, We'd never know because we've never had another one, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to try another right. another one. They, they put some barbecue sauce that was like, it made it slightly sweet, but it wasn't too barbecue-y. We split one burger and then we also split the chicken tenders and waffles. <sighs> that was the best part. I think we're finally gonna try the Impossible Burger. Here we got the chicken and waffles, vegan chicken, and the Impossible Burger, all grown up. Burger, let's see what the inside looks like. And the kale salad. Split it in half because we're gonna share both. Does it taste like meat? Yeah, it tastes like meat. That is so weird. First time trying the Impossible Burger. That's weird. It really does taste like meat. That's really good. The kale is really nice, and this burger is freaking me out. It's really good. What made me want to go was the visual. When I saw online the visual of what the chicken tenders look like, they literally look like chicken tenders, and I was just like, I need to know what that tastes like, and it tastes like chicken tenders. This literally looks like chicken. Does it taste like chicken? Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> You're impressed, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it was even so satisfying to know that on top of the fact that it was like really good, it was also vegan, which I, most every vegan spot we've tried in Miami, we haven't really been impressed by. Except for one, but yeah. Yeah, it's what? not even a spot. It's a truck that moves. Oh, around. there's the vegan food truck that we Which like. Which is the best vegan food we've had. In <laughs> but Miami. I mean, like, you or can't Florida. say that, that that vegan food truck doesn't really compare to like what oh, they're. This is a sit-down restaurant. This, this is, is like gourmet vegan. I mean, food. this is like one yeah. of the best vegan restaurants. Crossroads, number Crossroads, one. Crossroads, so for sure, best food we've tried so far in LA. So definitely worth checking out if you're in the Melrose Avenue area. But, but yeah. for being meat eaters and, and enjoying like real I mean, chicken tenders I could and real eat that burgers, every day and never even think I that you're miss missing it, yeah. meat. Which is a, a lot to say. The fact that we tried Wagyu grass-fed beef burgers right, that were so was special, like, and then we tried the actual Impossible, impossible burger, burger from Crossroads. Much more of what we way wanted. Way better, yeah. yeah. The next thing we did was we went to um, the downtown marketplace, the Grand, Grand Central, Central Marketplace. All right, we are officially in Grand Central Market. Yep. Oh wow, so many choices, what do we do? <laughs> so some of the spots are closing up already. So, oh hey, there's like so many options and it's kind of overwhelming and you don't yeah. know where to go and then a lot of the places were closing down when we were there. We showed up like an hour before they closed or something so like that. So we didn't have like all the options. Right. But we kind of like wanted to try maybe like two or three things and kind of just like, ex you know, see what we found. The first thing we tried was like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich thing that we kind of like, it caught our eye. Like a gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwich. PB and J LA, what is this? Alright, we're gonna get the red eye, which is espresso peanut butter and dark chocolate raspberry jam. The dark chocolate haze. Very interesting. <laughs> Here we got the red eye. It looks like a little burger, but it's like a little peanut butter burger. <laughs> Pretty cool. Take the try it. Good? Fun. Okay. And it wasn't that special.
special. It was like it was okay. I almost would have just preferred a basic peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right. like a little pita pocket of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is kind of cool. I think the concept's great. And maybe had we tried one of those experimental ones because there was one yeah. that had like curry and like weird stuff. Right. Maybe that would have been fun. Yeah. But we had the the espresso one and it was fine. It wasn't it was like okay. special, but right. it was fine. Then we went to a taco se section. That was like five taco options. There was a lot there. of tacos. So I'm not sure what <laughs> like it was called. Like a lot of Mexican food there. Right. But we just picked one. I don't remember which one. And we had the Al Pastor tacos. And the guy just gave us like a mountain of like... Like, like it was, meat it was just it. like, oh my yeah. god. It was like, a little too much and we couldn't even eat. Like we split it, but it was like... The meat was so much, we couldn't even eat all the meat. It was just like, and it wasn't that good. The thing that we thought was the best thing we had, at least there, was a grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Which it was, I, it was a really good grilled cheese. I think it was called OTLA cheese, I'm not sure, but they had this grilled cheese that had bacon, and I think it was no, truffle. we added a bacon. Oh, we added bacon. All right, this looks amazing. We got a grilled cheese with bacon inside. Some grilled cheeses don't have enough cheese. That's... I feel like this one could have used a little bit more cheese, honestly. Really? Yeah. More? Because I thought it had a good amount of cheese. Like, I was happy with the amount of cheese. I think good. the bacon helped. The bacon helped. If we had not had the bacon on it, maybe then I would have been like... I, I felt like it needed a little bit of the stringiness. I think if it had mozzarella in it, just to give it that stringy part to it. But it was very tasty. But it was, it was good. really good. It was the it best was thing good. we had at Grand Central Market. Yes. Now, we've obviously, we obviously didn't try a lot of other things. I'm sure there's even oh, better yeah. options. Yeah, hopefully. It's just that it was kind of like overwhelming. You don't and know where to half go. Of the one of the places I wanted to go there was closed and gorgeous. No, closed. Which one? The Egg Slut. Oh, Egg Slut. Yeah. Yeah, next time if, when we go to LA, if we go back over there, which we probably will, the it'll broad, be cool to yeah. check that out. Yes. Everything else we ate was not special. Because <laughs> we just, that's our fault. We just had chicken tenders and fries right. sometimes when we didn't know what to eat and we and just we kind went of to were like a few on the go. Classic restaurants. Beetle House LA, we did. Right, we did. And we did Mel's Drive In. Food. That's technically a classic. We had you chicken know. tenders and fries. We hope to go back to LA not too long from now and try more food. And yeah. there's quite a few places we want to check lot of out. Places. There's APL, right? Steakhouse that we do want to check out. Chinatown. Yeah, we never got yeah. to go to Chinatown or, or do any ramen or any like right. noodles. Um, the pizza restaurant. Oh, yeah, what's it called? I forgot what it was called, but it was like the best pizza restaurant in LA. Oh, I'll, I'll insert the name when I figure it out. But yeah, there was a pizza restaurant that we were going to try our, our best to get to. Because it looked like such a good pizza and we didn't get around to that. We still have a lot more to check out. So if you have any suggestions and you are someone who's been to LA and you are familiar with good food, comment down below and let us know because we will be back hopefully soon. Yeah.